How's it going guys? Bradley Sutton, Helium 10, and this is the new overview video for Magnet. Magnet is our keyword research tool and it just went uh, through a facelift and we added some cool new features and some new data points that we are checking that's gonna give you even more keywords that you can choose from in order to use for your listing. So let's give you a brief overview of how it works now. Uh, let's search, for example, for, let's just say teapots, all right? So I'm gonna search for that in Amazon. And at the same time, I'm going to put that here in Magnet, all right? Now, the a way of the original Magnet worked was it's going out there and it's finding a whole bunch of re potentially related keywords to teapots, you know, whether it has the word tea and pots in their listing. Remember, that's a, a cool advantage of Magnet is, you know, a lot of tools out there, the ones that I used to use, which are great, you know, I, I love them, but it was a little bit limited in that all it would return to me is words that had tea or pots or tea pots in them, all right? So right now, look how many different keywords came out, 8,000. This is almost double what we used to have. It gives you a wider range of keywords now to choose. So let's go into the uses of each of these different sets of keywords that we're all combining here, and I'm gonna show you how you can use it, all right? Now, a uh, first thing here, the new things at the top, you notice the total keywords. It's telling you how many keywords uh, there are total, and then we're gonna go into each one of these. There's uh, organic keywords. There's 2,862. This is the original magnet. It, all right, this is the uh, original magnet that it is showing. It's going out there looking at some top sellers in this category and seeing what kind of other keywords that they're ranking for. That's how we're able to get keywords that do not have just have T or pots in them. Smart complete. This is a new metric that we're doing. It's similar to what you would see in autocomplete, but just a little bit uh, autocomplete in Amazon, but just a little bit more advanced. All right. And I'm going to show you how and um, in, in a few minutes here. All right. The last is Amazon recommended. You know, when you have an ASIN in Amazon, Amazon has a score for every keyword that they recommend that is a uh, good for your product, whether it's for a PPC or just, you know, related in general, they have a score for every keyword up to like 1000 or sometimes even more than 1000 keywords. All right. So what we're doing is we're going out there, finding some top products and taking a look at the, um, the, the keywords that have the highest Amazon recommendation score. You know, this is not a Helium 10 metric. This is an Amazon metric, you know, that we are pulling from, all right? So uh, right here, these are top products. So these are some of the top sellers in, in Amazon for this search, teapots, all right? You can actually click on this in order to um, to get more information on it in Cerebro. And then this is word frequency. So out of these 8,705 keywords, you know, 3,932 have pot in them, uh, 1,498 have kettle, etc. All right. Um, so that's the top part. Now let's go into each of the use cases. Let's first show you the organic results, just so you can have an idea of what shows up, what the original, um, magnet was for, right? I just searched for match type organic comes out with 2,800 words. I I'm just going to search, uh, but I'm going to show you by search volume, some of these keywords. All right. And, and then you have, again, words that might not have come up, um, you know, in some kind of autocomplete, uh, query, right? Like electric kettle, you know, tea nor pots is in this phrase right here, electric kettle, but absolutely that could be uh, relevant to your product. All right. What are some of the other ones here? Tea infuser. Uh, teapot, teapot with no space between it. Tea set, all right. Electric tea kettle, uh, hot water dispenser, tea cups and saucer sets. That could be something that's maybe uh, frequently bought together with a uh, teapot. So, you know, it makes sense to maybe uh, somehow show up on some of these results, tea cups and saucer sets, or keep this these words in your listing so that you can maybe get on that Amazon recommended keyword uh uh, Amazon recommended list for other ASINs that are teacups and saucer sets. We're going to get more into that later. All right. So this is the original form of magnet. If you guys have been using magnet for a while, um, that's exactly what this is. You know, you just put organic and this is the original magnet. Now we have something called, let's go ahead and go into Amazon recommended. I'm going to hit apply. 
And now here we have a list of, let's see how many keywords are gonna come up here for Amazon Recommended, 3,419, all right? These words are from Amazon. This is not Helium 10 saying, hey, this is a word that you need to use for your listing. This is Amazon has taken a look at some of the top sellers in teapots, and these are the keywords that they are recommending, the top keywords, the highest scored keywords in their, using their metric that they are recommending for your product, especially in the context of uh, sponsored ads. All right. What goes into their algorithm, how they come out with these, you know, nobody really knows, uh, if you don't work on Amazon, um, Theoretically, it's probably things that have performed well in their sponsored ads or or things that they think are relevant to uh, to to the product, you know, keywords that they think are relevant. But at the very least, what we're doing is we're showing you this information. Now you can take a look at these keywords and see if there's others that you hadn't even, you know, thought about. I'm just gonna go with a word count of two because for teapots, it's very rare that I think there would be a keyword that's just gonna have one keyword, all right? And again, a lot of the original ones that you just saw on the other one are here tea kettle, tea infuser. Here's something coffee pot they're suggesting to, to target. Tea bags, tea set, cast iron. So they're saying that, hey, um, people are searching for cast iron teapots. That could be interesting. Uh, water heater. Why is water heater here? I have no idea. But again, this is not Helium 10 telling you this is actually from Amazon. It's up to you if you want to use that or not. Uh, loose leaf tea, hot pot, kitchen set, tea strainer all kinds of keywords here that Amazon is recommending, all right? So you take a look at this and start filtering some of these out. You might find some gems here that you didn't even think about using um, for your listing that could help out. Um, so let's keep going here for the next one. Smart Complete is another new metric that we are doing. What is Smart Complete, all right? So this is different than just autocomplete. Uh, let me show you how. For example, this is teapots, right? Look at the top... Uh, keyword that comes up here in our smart complete T pot like that. You know, if, if you, st if you go here, right. And type in T pots, the only words that come up are T pots with an S in it. But look, the very first word that comes up here is teapot with no S. So that's why it's called smart complete because it goes a little bit uh, extra than just like a, what your typical autocomplete tool is going to be. It also puts it into different, um, it changes the order of the keywords. Let's just see here. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Uh, Japanese teapot, you know, here it puts it at the end. So Japanese is the first word, as you know, even if we're, uh, even if this was just teapot, you know, Japanese teapot wouldn't have come up because it's only going to show teapots as the uh, original words. Uh, small teapot, electric teapots, Turkish teapot. You probably didn't even think about that. You know, Turkish teapot, that could be something that you might want to put in your listing. Chinese teapot, loose leaf teapot. Look at this one, Turkish tea kettle and pot. So here in this situation, it's actually putting keywords in between it. Another thing that autocomplete doesn't do. So again, Turkish tea, and then it puts kettle and, and the word and, and then pot at the end. And again, this is uh, the singular version of pot as opposed to tea pots. It also puts words together like teapots. Uh, you know, with no spaces, all right? So this can be very valuable for you to search for words, again, that might, uh, you know, have the word tea and or pot somewhere in it that you might not have thought about putting in your listing. Now, how else can you use Magnet? What if you were like, hey, show me something that comes up in all three of these. Like, is there any keywords that are coming up in the organic search? You know, that means that there's hot top sellers who are organically ranked for it. It's also something that is an auto, you know, smart complete word, you know, could come up in an auto complete. And number three, it actually is one of the words that Amazon is recommending for top sellers. Because maybe your logic is that if you can find words that all three of these have, that might be another way to get relevant keywords. So let's take a look at how many words come up here out of these 4,000 or uh, 8,000 actually original ones. Look, only 168 keywords come up. And look here, we have some good ones. Look at that, teapots for stovetop, teapots, teapot sets, glass teapot, teapot with electric kettle, all highly relevant keywords because you used all three filters, all right? So that's another way that you can filter down keywords. You can filter by search volume, you can filter by magnet IQ score, which is just shows the, you know, the difference between competing products and search volume. Um, you could uh, filter by search volume. You could exclude phrases that contain a certain word. Like, let's say you're like, hey, I don't want Turkish 
My, mine is not a Turkish one. So I'm going to say, show me the words that don't have Turkish. All right? So that's another way you can do it. Now, let's, let's just do a little reverse here. Um, I'm just going to take this off to show all of the words. All right? And we're going to go back to that 8,000, I think. All right, 8,000. Now, what about the stuff that does come in autocomplete? Do those show up here on, on uh, Magnet? Let's look at some of the weird, uh, a weird one here. Here we go. Teapots for stovetop stainless steel. That's pretty, um, that's on the first page of the Amazon autocomplete. Does this word come up when you're searching teapots in Magnet? Let's take a look. The way you can low is I'm going to say show phrases that contain teapots for stovetop stainless steel, stainless steel. And let's take a look here. There it is right there. That means it was in the results. And here you have the search volume, how many uh, competing products there are. And look, it's actually an organic match and a smart complete. So if you're ever wondering, if you're looking in the, if you're not filtered down and you want to see which ones, the, um, which categories these search results come from, this one is coming from organic and it's also coming from smart complete. If it was coming from the other one, there would also be an A here for Amazon recommended. So guys, make sure to use the new magnet. It's going to give you tons and tons of keywords that you're able to sort through and prioritize over which ones you think you might be able to put in your listing. Because no matter how much you know your niche, I guarantee that using the new magnet, you are going to find keywords that you possibly didn't even think about, including Spanish words that are going to come up here that you could probably put in your listing and maybe get some sales from or run some PPC on uh, in the future. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to check the other videos in Magnet for a little bit more in-depth use cases on how you can use this awesome tool. Thanks, guys. We'll see you later. Yeah.